So what's going on? I'm about to take you through my leg, my leg routine. Um, I know I said I was gonna do shoulders and arms, but I hopped on a new program, and if you're following the account, you could um, follow along. I'll be posting it daily and um, on the story. It's not gonna really be pretty, pretty today. It's gonna be more moving heavy ass weight, you know? So it's gonna be a grind today. You'll see, you'll see. Blue my third year on the scene. 20 racks don't feel like nothing to me. Cape on the streets, it turned me to a beast. Invisible set diamonds hugging my peace. But me for a show, I need 80 at least. I want the smoke, ain't no keeping the peace. Keep me a razor when I'm in the east. Open them up just like a surgery. Everything burning around me on lit. Show a little attitude, swap out the bitch. I spent 250, don't know where it How much? 35. When I set up underneath the bar. When I get underneath it, I like for my lats to squeeze all of it into my spine. So I think you're just squeezing all my back muscles straight into my spine. This creates like a, a good foundation because when you squat, what you're really working on is your hips, your quads, and your your back, you know, until you hold it all. So I like to get that nice foundation when I get underneath the bar. No, she can go ahead and squat, it doesn't matter. When I get underneath the bar and I, and I come up, I just, literally, I just squeeze my ass cheeks to pop up. I let the bar settle and then I step back. A lot of people, they just fucking, they step, they, they grab it and they start stepping back and they're all out of map, out of uh, fucking, the weight just wobbling. And then you take energy to fucking try to focus it back down. So really I just squeeze up. I only take three steps back, you take four. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. When you go down, think about, um. it's kind of like you open up your legs and you go down. You go hit first, but for lack of better words, Ed Cohen said this, he's one of like one of the greatest powerlifters of all time. He's in the Hall of Fame. You open your taint. So when you're going down, you open up your legs. When you shoot up, half, think about it as a, as a leg press. You're shooting up leg press, leg press. When about halfway up, you want to fucking throw, throw the weight back. Not, don't fucking overdo it because the weight will fall off. But um, it's all in one motion. And it's just going to be repetition is what's really going to help you. I didn't really get my squat down, so I, I wouldn't even say it's really down yet. But I've been lifting for probably about a year and a half. And finally, I feel a little bit more confident in my squat. But you'll see, you'll see too when I'm doing it. And he does like a, a voiceover right now. You'll see how I squeeze my last together and when I go down and how I shoot up on my back, kind of tilts back. It cures a lot of the, um, when your knees fall in too, it helps a lot. A lot of people's knees fucking cave in. So the whole time, so I start off, squeeze my fucking, my, my lats into my spine, my muscles into my spine, lift up. I only take three steps back. It took me a while to get that down. You could take four. You just don't want to be using all the energy to fucking wobble right here and get, try to get right, you know? But you don't want to, um, when, you're, when you're stepping out, the ball to fucking be moving all crazy. When it starts moving all crazy, you're using more energy to try to fucking to try to stabilize it than what you are going to be using in your lift. It could be going to your lift, but it's not. You need up. So really, right here too, I just focus one, two, three tempo, pause at the bottom, and then shoot up. While I'm shooting up, I just think leg drive, so leg press, and I'll shoot my back. I'll shoot back just a little bit. I won't overdo it. We're about to hop into some hack squats. Um, this is great because it works all your lower body muscles, which is your glutes, hammies, quads. This will carry over in a squat. And um, this is translated for me. It's carried over in the squat so much that my, my, my max has increased. I went from only probably doing a play in 85 to 325. So it's a big jump once I started doing these. So you better be doing hey. these. Hey. Yeah. I'm making a 
to change today The liquor been taking the pain away I heard you was giving your chain away That's kind of like giving your fame away What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do A boss is a road that I've grown into I love you to death, but I told you the truth I can't just be with you, I'm only you Yeah, I got one Virgil, got one And that day is the only two, man Yo, like some dude right now, too, I asked him how many sets did he have left? He came at me crazy. In my head, I'm like, ooh, this motherfucker's in the know. He's gonna find out. I wish he would've stayed so you see me hit this shit. But it is what it is. You gotta push, baby. You gotta push. You gotta push. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Um, this is leg press. Right now, I'm really gonna focus on controlling. Cause I just banged out on hack squats. Um, just banging the weight out, you know, moving it, moving heavy weight. This one, I'm probably going to focus more on controlling, probably the bottom to shoot up. What really helped my deadlift, too, was leg press. Um, once you start thinking, it, thinking of it as, like, in terms of the deadlift being a leg press, it helps so much. The first half, get underneath the leg press, and then go do deadlifts, and you'll see what I'm talking about for the first half. Um, when we go into deadlift, when, when we film deadlift, we'll get more into it. More into detail on how to do it, but you'll see it translate over too. And hop into it. Yeah, no matter, hey, hey, hey. no matter how you feel, you gotta bang that shit out. No matter how you feel, you still gotta get shit done. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Hamstring curls, three sets of 15. On machines like these, I like to pause at the top, control for three seconds on the way down. It's not about moving it for as fast as you can, you know, it's about keeping it under tension, time under tension for the muscle. Um, it really helps the growth. Fucking light, I got lightheaded right there. Oh shit. That was gonna hurt too much, bro. <laughs> Probably need some leg extensions, 4x12. Same thing, pause at the top, control. Fight against gravity, control on the way down. Um, when you go heavier, it's cool to grab on, but when you go light, try not to. Really puts the stress on your quads, emphasizes that. Good quad builder for mass. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Mm. Mm. One more. 
Last one, last one. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I'm a late bloomer, third year on the scene. 20 racks don't feel like nothing to me. Came from the streets, it turned me to a beast. Invisible set diamonds hugging my peace. But me for a show, I need 80 at least. I want the smoke, ain't no keeping the peace. Keep me a razor when I'm in the east.